we are going to be working on this style that we are seeing on this v um, pictures rolling out on our screen so uh, this is begin sewing with chi where we make sewing illustrations very easy okay for our ready to wear business okay so this style you are seeing is some people used to look at it like a complicated style i'm not saying it's not complicated but it's not something that you will not want to try out okay so in your leisure time you can decide to try this and i tell you it's very simple it's just when you're starting out it looks very complicated but as you do it once or twice it becomes very used to it now first of all we'll be using this pattern for it okay so and i want you to know that if you're able to cut it on this pattern you are done with your fabric immediately you cut out on this pattern whatever you cut out here take it like that transfer it to your fabric and that is all you join the only thing you need to do is match back and front together and then you join on your sewing machine and then your sewing is ready the only thing you need to really learn again is how to make the inner finishing okay you have to turn the fabric and all that we are coming to that we are just starting we are just two months into this course and we have one year to go don't ever miss any day from any of these illustrations and if you do this constant illustration till one year i tell you you will be perfect okay so come online come on youtube and use it to help out yourself so let's go right into this um tutorial now we'll be using needing two different patterns that is for the front and the back now i want to concentrate on the top pattern because that is where the neckline is okay these things are very simple for the judge for the list that is in the picture the down part if you want to know how to cut that please do well to go back and watch my video on how to cut a basic skirt block that one would do for the front for the down part okay but for the top pattern where we have the neckline that is where i want to concentrate we are talking mainly about that neckline and we cannot do that without the front and the back pattern now i chose to use two different colors for the pattern because so to be able to differentiate it okay i don't want to be confusing myself and also confusing my viewers okay so now we'll be working on the two patterns this is front and then the other one is the back okay so now for the front pattern okay we have created the basic bodies okay this is very very easy to plot out if you do not know how to plot out these basic bodies please do well to watch my video on how to plot basic basic bodies and you will understand what understand what went on here we have marked out our um shoulder line but if you observe i did not mark out the neckline okay we are coming to that now we have marked out our shoulder uh, shoulder line okay i put my border up marked out my armhole but if you observe i have not included my um my slant shoulder slant we are coming to that now i've marked out my horizontal measurement which is the bust line 10 inches my under bust 13 and a half inches my waistline 16 inches and we've gone ahead to impute all the horizontal measurements which is my bust is 40 divided by 4 gave me 10 plus 2 inches allowance i always advise you to use 2 inches allowance to be on the safe side so your customer don't go to tell you you have condemned if the customer says okay is too small you can easily increase it but if you do not put up to two inches and the customer says is too small you have condemned that clause or you start looking for how to patch it up to make up for the shortage okay so two inches allowance is always to be on the safe side now 40 which is my boss point divided by four gave me 10 inches plus two inches allowance gave me 12 inches and that's what i marked here the same way you marked here you mark it also on your armhole line now we move over to the under boss for the under boss which my horizontal measurement is 13 and a half this is this point right under bust measure circumference was is 36 inches divided by 4 gave us 9 inches plus 2 inches allowance now gave us 11 inches plus this 2 and a half we are trying to create our princess that we'll be using princess that here but you can use any that you want but i want to use princess that for this particular tutorial so it will be easier for you to see the neckline 
properly when we are done now 36 inches divide on the underboss divided by 4 gave us 9 inches plus 2 inches sewing allowance gave us 11 inches plus 2 and a half of this that we are taking away from here I told you whatever you take away in your sewing add it back if you do not add it back somewhere it's going to cause shortage in your material this is our two and a half we are adding it and that was all gave us what we marked here right the same thing is going to apply here again waistline was also 36 it's also 36 divided by four gave us nine inches plus two inches allowance gave us 11 inches plus this two and a half we are removing here gave us 13 and a half and that is what we marked here now that was what led to this marking now but if you ask me because i'm no more a beginner this is the way i'm i'm going to mark out this line okay i decided to leave it till now to explain to you if i were to be i'm the one marking i will mark out my line this way instead of going this way and going this way but i did it like this so that you will understand what really happened okay so now we are going to be putting our neckline but there is a thing about this neckline you can see we are doing built up neck neckline now this neckline has tricks and uh, techniques okay now if you do not plot this uh, neckline very well it will be looking like uh, it will be gapping eh? and the person will be looking like a, a poor man or a poor woman okay but if you plot it out very well it's a very very beautiful neckline and it's a way for you to sell out your skills okay now one secret of this neckline is that this neckline must lap on your neck if it does not anything short of that you have failed it now you know our neckline we used to use three inches that is the normal standard for an adult three inches by three inches for the front three inches by one inch for the back okay but right now in this one because we want it to lap it is individual by individual because we want this neckline to lap on the person's neck okay whatever we lap on my own neck which my on my own neck might not be the same thing that will lap on your own so now because of that we make sure that we calculate this particular neckline to be for exactly this person and that is why we are going to be using bust measurement now to you have to get peculiar personal measurements for everybody neckline wise now yours is not the same with mine that is why in calculating proper measurement neckline for an adult is bust divided by 12 whatever you get is your basic neckline for the shoulder okay if you do this your neckline will exactly lap on the on the base of your neckline this is one secret to making your necklines instead of you using the general why they say general is three three inches on the shoulder line three by three is because if you use three by three it sizes all it enters all size you understand it enters everybody but if you want to get your own accurate neckline measurement it's bust line divided by 12 whatsoever you get is your answer now for me here 12 the bust line is 40 so we are going to be doing 40 divided by 12 and i got 3.33 which is approximately 3.3 inches okay now for these tutorials this is all i need for my pattern i need my scissors i need my my tape and then i need my ruler and my marker okay now 3.3 is my neckline yeah i'm going to be using it i'll mark it out here 3.3 using the tape of course when you look at it this is three one two and you mark your three exactly 3.3 now for the the uh, uh, for the um, neck depth you still use the same 3.3 okay still use the same 3.3 and then you connect and then you use your ruler or you if you don't have the ruler if you don't have the ruler you use your freehand 
to connect and to connect but then i have the ruler so i'll be connecting with my ruler and that's your neckline now as i have fixed my neckline i'll now be able to add my shoulder slant of one inch so to put add my shoulder slant of one inch i come down by one inch and then i connect like so i connect like so now to con to you to to beautify our neck arm hold uh, depth you look for the center of this okay you look for center which is now we can work on our arm hole so i look for the center which is eight inches the neck depth now is eight inches so i'm getting the middle point which is four inches and then i'm going to be connecting these four inches to this uh, to this boss point okay i'll be connecting this now i'm trying to create my princess i'm whole uh, princess that too that's what i'm trying to do now okay so you connect it to this point now you are going to be marking one inch okay from the boss point because whatever you are doing here should not get to this point it will end in this one inch okay hope you are following me now whatever you take out from here you are going to extend this line okay the reason for you extending this line is because whatever you take out from here you have to add it back now i will be adding my remember that we are supposed to come in by half inch here initially okay to create our armhole curve okay so we are supposed to come come out by half inch there so now we are going to be creating our neck our armhole the uh, armhole curve nicely this way okay we are going to be creating it very nicely now we have created our armhole depth nicely okay so we are done with that now we take away our um our 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 dart from here and we are taking away 0 0.75 inches and those zero we are taking away 0 0.5 inches from the two sides now that 0 0.5 inches we are taking away you take it away and then you connect it nicely to that point where you said your dart point should not pass okay to that point where you said your neck your dart should not pass okay now you make sure you curve everything out there should be no sharp point okay there should be no sharp point now because you have taken away one and a half inch because 7.5 inch plus 7.5 inch is 1.5 1. right so because you have taken it away you add it back so on this particular line from here like so from here like so will be marking two inches you start your one and a half that one I have you want to replace. Please take it from this new armhole line, not from the former one. Okay, so if you do it like so, we have already marked the one and a half inches. And now we are going to come down like beautiful tailors that we are. <laughs> Jesus. So now we are going to be coming down by. So, so this is now our new armhole. I know that you people are very conversant with what I have done because I have done it before, but I just wanted to do like a recap. So we are done with all these places and we are done with our neckline. Okay. Now, there's something I didn't do before, which I have a reason for not doing it because I don't want you people to be confused. And I'm going to be doing it now. Now, this neckline you are seeing, is, you know, I told you when you are plotting your ne neckline, put borderline that means my neckline started here but this is now an abnormal neckline which has to have an extension up if you observe i did not put that extension because i don't want you to be confused now i'm going to be gumming something to that place when you are cutting out yours please do well to shift this bodies down so that it can accommodate but what i did now is so as for you to understand what i am doing so Watch me to see what I'm going to do now. Guys, you see? You see? So now when you want to plot your own, please know that you should give gap here. Why I did not give gap was because I wanted you to see me plotting this side properly. Okay? 
I wanted you to see me plotting this area very well. But when you are plotting your own, just know that you should give gap. There's no need of you doing this extra. I have a reason for doing what I did just now. So when you are plotting your own, shift your hand down with that borderline, knowing fully whether you are going to be extending this neckline this way. We go over to the back pattern. The same thing I did for the front is what I'm still going to oh, this is what I'm still going to be doing here. I did not plot mark out the back neckline, okay, because I'll be working on it. Now 3.3 .3 inches was what we calculated for our neckline on the shoulder line. So we mark that out again here. But here we'll be using one inch, okay now you curve it out nicely okay okay so now we can now go ahead and add our shoulder slant again for the back pattern okay and then we mark it out nicely okay on the back pattern we don't need princess that so all we just we don't even need to come out by half inch on the middle side the only thing we do is to connect our armhole nicely okay but the only thing is that you are going to mark out the center line to be able to know where your curve is going to start from okay so my curve is starting right from here my curve is starting right from here okay and i and i curve out my armhole nicely so the back line does not really have a problem now we start our uh, job remember i told you because i wanted you to see me planning out the bodies that's why i started mine here when you are starting your own shift your plotting from uh, down down okay because i wanted you to see you see me doing all the things i'm doing that was why i i that was why I plotted starting from the way I plot my normal basic bodies. Okay, so now I'm going to be extending my pattern paper and I have done that. Okay, I have done that. Okay, I have done that right now. So we start our work. Guys, our neckline has started. Now, you will work on the back pattern first before you go over to the front pattern now first things first this is your back pattern mark a quarter inch on this particular line that you see to slanting inside mark a quarter inch here and to mark a quarter inch here this is a quarter inch okay now from that quarter inch extend this line like so okay extend it a little bit up with half inch here now on this particular line that you have extended mark half inch starting from your from the normal shoulder back marking mark half inch okay now on on this particular half inch on this half inch that you marked here mark two inches up on that half inch you marked here mark two inches up now now you are going to connect this particular line okay to anywhere here this particular dot to anywhere here okay remember that you mark two inches from that half an inch now rule that line down okay rule that line down to this area okay from the half inch that you marked rule that line down to that two inches that you marked which you have joined to this area the next thing that we are going to be doing after we have joined these two lines okay the next thing that we are going to be doing is to come down by half inch on this side okay you come down by half inch then you use our curved ruler or you can use your free hand but since i have my curved ruler i'll be using my curved ruler to curve out like so remember 
remember that quarter inch okay that you marked initial time that when we started remember it now we are going to be using a our curved ruler if you don't have the curved ruler there's no problem you can use your free hand to connect this particular point okay to that okay to connect this particular line okay to connect this particular line to that quarter inch okay so you can see the back neckline have been built up by two inches can you see we have connected this one like so covering it out we have connected it like so please do not take cognizance of this one this is your neckline like so okay has been raised to by two inches from the normal neckline and we are done with it okay so right now we'll move over to the front parts